several new laws go into effect. One of them deals with the death penalty, one with drunk driving, and some different issues around that. Joining us now to talk more about this, Bernalillo County's District Attorney, Carrie Brandenburg. Thank Hello. you for getting up yes. and joining yes. us. Yes. First, let's start with DWI. We've had this horrendous crash, possibility that this driver who killed the four teens was, in mm -hmm. fact, drunk. We don't have the tox report back yet. Right. But really, it seems like it's such a huge issue that continues to be here in New Mexico. Now we have interlocks. What difference is that going to make? Well, now, the new law says that a lot of people skirt the interlock law by saying, well, I don't have a vehicle even though I have a DWI conviction, so I don't have to get an interlock, and then they drive other people's cars. The new law says that regardless if you don't have a car, whenever you do get a vehicle or whenever you do get your license, you have to have an interlock on your car for six months. And so it's a little bit more of a penalty. It's trying to encompass everyone who has a DWI conviction and hopefully will make the public safer on our roads. All right. Uh, still may not have all the teeth that maybe everyone right. desired, but I guess it's a beginning. Another thing we want to talk about, of course, is the death penalty. It has been yeah. repealed here in New Mexico. But there's still a window where there are certain people who could still face the death penalty. Right. The law becomes effective on July 1st. And so anyone who commits a homicide with an aggravating circumstance in New Mexico, we have seven aggravating circumstances, would still be eligible for the death penalty. After July 1st, then they are eligible for the the life without the possibility of parole. The new penalty, but the aggravating circumstances remain the same. All right, then a lot of changes in domestic violence laws and guidelines. Tell me about a couple of the most important ones. Well, we have three laws that are real important. Crimes against household members, destruction of property often is, is part of the domestic violence scenario. And so now we have a law that says if you destroy property in that kind of scenario, then you're liable. It, it's against the law. We also have the law promoting financial independence for victims of domestic violence, which really gives victims the right to leave their place of employment to seek protective orders and to appear in court. And then we have a broadened um, stalking law, uh, which basically allows for email, um, telephone, cell phone, kinds of stalking and kinds of communication. So that will be a lot better than what we have on the books. Yeah, I had to add on all that we technology. Add, right, right. It's hard to keep up with technology these days. All right. Thank you so much, Carrie. Mm -hmm. Carrie My Brandenburg, pleasure. District Attorney. I want to thank you again for coming in. Back